Hi friends. Today in this video I am going to solve question number 3 of exercise 2.3 class 7th CBSE. So the question is the cost of 5 and a half kg of sweet is rupees 185.50 that is 50 paise. Find the cost of 1 kg of sweet. So to solve this question First of all, we are going to write the statements. So, first statement would be the cost of five and a half kg of sweet. Cost of five and a half kg of sweet. According to the question. It equals to be rupees one hundred eighty-five and fifty paise. So for rupees, I am using the rupee sign. One hundred eighty-five point five zero. Okay. Now, this is the first statement. Now we have to figure out the cost of one kg of sweet. So again, we are going to write the second statement. Cost of one kg of sweet is equal to be. Now, as you can see, that the cost of five and a half kg of sweet equals to be rupees one hundred eighty-five and fifty paise. So, the cost of one kg of sweet must equal to be rupees. One hundred eighty-five and fifty paise divided by five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. Now the reason we are dividing before it was cost of five and a half kg of sweet and it equal to be one hundred eighty-five and fifty paise. Now, as we are decreasing it, means we are dividing both sides by five and a half. So, cost of one kg of sweet will equal to be rupees one hundred eighty-five and fifty paise divided by five and a half. So, now we are going to solve this question. So, we are going to write the rupee sign afterwards, and we get one hundred eighty-five point fifty divided by. As five and a half is a mixed fraction. And we can't divide it directly, so we have to convert it to improper fraction. So we know that we have to multiply the denominator by the whole number and add numerator to it. So it will become it as two into five plus one upon two. So it will equal to be as eleven upon two. Okay. Now this step is very important, and you have to pay attention to. Well, as you can see, it is in decimal, and we are dividing a decimal number by a fraction. So in this case, we are going to make it as a decimal fraction. That is, we are going to multiply it by hundred and put a hundred as denominator. That would be one eight five five zero. Upon hundred. Actually, it is the same thing because we are moving the decimal two places, so we are putting and we are compensating that for as the denominator. Now we are dividing it by eleven upon two. Okay. Now, in the previous classes, we have studied that when we divide it by a fraction, we take the reciprocal of the second fraction. I multiply it, it, so it would be equal to be as one eight five five zero upon hundred multiplied by two upon eleven. Okay, now now we are going to cancel the common factors. We get two one six two. And two five two fifty is a hundred. Okay, 
and we can cancel 5 here sorry 10 that we cancel the zeros so this is the rough column now in the rough column we get as 1855 upon 5 multiplied by 111 now we cancelling it 5 1 is 5 5 3 is about 15 so we have 3 now put here now, uh, now 5 is 35 and 5 1 is 5 we get 371 as numerator and in the denominator we get as 11 well 371 is not uh, divisible by 11 so this is the answer of our question answer so this is the answer of our question thank you for watching this video if you like our videos of our channel, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more educational video notifications of our channel.